So what we're playing with right now is the Panasonic AF100, which is essentially acts like a, um, a DSLR camera. It's got even um, an ISO setting on it. Um, and what they have on it right now is a 14 to 35 um, Olympus lens because all the you can put any lens on this thing essentially. Um, as long as you get the proper adapter here, it'll take it. Um, this is just a prototype, but the results are actually pretty pretty sick. Can you something like you can? There you go. Uh, see, we got pretty, we're definitely exploiting the depth of field there, but um, the iris is actually controlled by the camera, not the lens itself. So right now we're only on like a 2.1 f-stop. If we, you know, obviously we can open it up more. I think it actually only opens up to two. And I'm at a four. It's a little bit more realistic. Than it's not so exploited by the So it's not so exploited. I mean, you have the full range of it. Um, it shoots full, high def, and two SD card slots. Yeah, it'll, so when this one's done, this one will go, and you can actually swap them on the fly. Apparently, you can open it while it's still recording, which is a it's a new feature. Well, yeah, yeah obviously you couldn't do it before because you only had the one. It's almost identical controls to the HMC 150 and the 40. So actually, it's closer to the 150. You can actually change this, and then obviously if we pull that into like a 24 frame timeline. It'll be either you know sped up or slowed down depending on what we're shooting. Yep. Pretty sick camera. Cool. We're looking forward to it. That's the AF100 Panasonic.